Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. This is Real True Street Crime. And I want to come at all of y'all with this one. I ain't never been to college. I did not graduate high school. I had an education from the streets. Is where I was educated. I was not educated in college. I was not educated in school. I was educated in the streets because I never graduated high school or I never stepped into college till I was 45, 50 years old. And it was because I wanted to. But I just want y'all to know, as my man Quincy Jones say to dude, I graduated from the streets. I got a degree in how to make ends meet, baby. That's from Quincy Jones, the dude, baby. And that's what Eddie Jackson was, the dude. Soft talking with a rap so sweet. And niggas hear his swap, it was worth millions of dollars. That's why his rap was so sweet and so soft. Niggas used to love the fat man to sit there and give him game in school. So I wanted to tell y'all I was never the big man on campus. Because I ain't never been on campus. I got an education in the streets. Understand that. The dude style. Understand that. So I just want y'all to know, in smuggling all over the world, I ain't never even left this country for vacation. I always left this country in search of that thing. Understand that most niggas travel the world to see the world. I traveled the world to get the best narcotics in the world. All over the world. Niggas travel all over the world. I went to hear, I went to see this, I went to the see that. You understand? But I went to get that thing and get it back in America and make plenty of money. While you niggas was out there comping on vacation, I was out there planning how to swallow and get back in this country, hot as fire, and make millions. So that's why I traveled. I didn't travel to see the country. I traveled to get the dope. That's why. Most niggas travel. I've been all over the world. I've seen after I've seen this. And them niggas ain't bring nothing back with them. Because they wasn't hustlers. They just was visitors. But that ain't Eddie Jackson and Eddie Jackson Jr. We wasn't visitors. We was hustlers. And we left this country to go to another one to get that work dirt cheap and the best in the world. And that's what we did. So we was not big man on campus. I ain't never been on campus. And I got my education from the streets, baby, and how to make in me. And don't forget that. So when the fat man came down, it was a different game. And I'm going to tell y'all one more time. Book sense and street sense is two different things. You can be the smartest motherfucker in the world in books and come out there in them streets and them niggas will do one or two things. Make a fool out of you or possibly take your life. And you think you so goddamn book smart. But when you hit them streets, that book smart ain't going to do you no good. Understand that. It's going to come down to street smarts, baby, and street cred. And what you really got in your head. Understand that. So I just laugh at nigga. Oh, I've been all over where I've been here. Nigga, I've been there too, but I was getting money. I was bringing that thing back 90, 100% pure hairline. So when I was traveling the world, it was to get money, baby. I wasn't traveling just to say, oh, I've been here to the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I've been here to London. Nigga, I've been rich. That was my goal. It wasn't my goal to tell you I've been to the Eiffel Tower or I've been to London, anywhere else, Mexico or anywhere. I went was to be rich. I didn't go for the fun of it or for a vacation. Oh, I'm going on vacation. Didn't you hear what Pep told you? Him and Tracy went to Mexico for a vacation. And what kind of vacation did Pep and Tracy go to Mexico for? Street. A street education, baby. And they got educated. Might have not liked the education they got, but they got some education when they went down there to Mexico and ran into the feds. Understand that. So I'm just giving you all the real game, and I got to say good morning to my newest Patreon. Understand that. Backyard beast training was happening. And I got to say, bar none, best friend, my new patrons. Bar none, best friend, what's happening this morning, my brother, are you all right? Ken Kid, Paulie, my man Paulie Dibbs, 
Are you all right this morning? What's happening with you all? Veronda Odoms, Vino, G Twilight, Ken Kid, Lionel, Nathan. And I have to give my shout outs to my Patriots because I love them. And that's what fuels the fire. And as I told you all, I ain't never had no book education. I had a street education. Understand that. Take a listen to Quincy Jones on the dude. He pretty much described it all in a song, baby. The dude. And that's what Eddie Jackson was. Soft talking with a rap so sweet. And them niggas bowed down. And as I tell all of y'all, I had to tell a nigga yesterday when they went to talking about stories and this. I said, look, man, let me tell you something. Eddie Jackson had Motown ruckus that he was serving. Most of your Motown artists, some of your greatest artists ever in history, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, The Temptations, David Ruffin and Eddie Kendricks, The Dramatics, the list goes on on the stars and celebrities that Eddie Jackson served in his day. And they was just as big as any rapper in this day. Compare Marvin Gaye, compare Stevie Wonder, Compare all the Motown greats to any rapper you see today and tell me what you come up with. In they day, they was just as great as rappers are in they day. Everybody has they day and they time in the sunshine. Everybody have they day and they time in the sunshine and this rapper's time. Understand that. And they used to always tell me, everybody get a turn, baby. It's just they turn. Realize that. You've been holding them back all them years. Now, rap is out there, number one genre in music. And understand that most of them niggas in rap ain't got no book education. Most of them come from the streets. Just know that. Most of your rappers that you running around cheering, most of them come from the streets, baby, and they got a street education. Ask Kodak Black, how was he educated, baby? understand that. And I'm going to say it one more time. Book sense ain't got nothing to do with street sense. Two different things, my brothers and my sisters. So you can be the smartest thing as a whip with them books, but take it to the streets and see what happened to you, baby. Because it's a different type of smart. Understand that. And I just had to come back and say what's happening to King Kid, Lionel, Nathan, Vino over there on Davidson with the hookah shop. And them t-shirts, baby, give them a play today. And as I tell y'all, bar none, best friend, my newest, understand, patriot. And Demetrius Chapman and Joseph Knight, understand that I got to say what's happening to all my patrons. Because I ain't forgot about you, and I definitely hope you ain't got to forgot about me. And I got some real hot stories coming for you over there on America, Real True Street Crime on Patreon. And check the caption down below if you can't find me over there on America, Real True Street Crime on Patreon. So I just had to come in and tell y'all I was educated from the streets, baby. I ain't never been to college till I got about 48. I ain't never finished high school. Understand that. And that's the exception to the rule. And I ain't never did more than five months in penitentiary. That's the exception to the rule to have been hustling a lifetime since she was 12 years old. Treacherous put you in the game mistakenly. And from then on, it's been on, baby. Understand that from then on, it's been on. Understand that my brother Treacherous is the one that tag team and took care of me for two years until the fat man came out of jail. Every two, three months, every two months, Treacherous would bring me seven grams of the kill, and I would give him to Tracy to move him for me, because he was a young boy, and he would go get Gene Hackman to slip him in with Maurice Bell's sack to move him for me. So we had a hell of a little hustle going for about two years there with Gene Hackman, understand that. We was getting that thing and we was getting it awful goddamn right because we was getting it from the same motherfuckers who was serving Butch Jones, Treacherous and Milwaukee Jack. And Treacherous was my man, understand. So I just had to come back and give y'all a little education from the streets, baby, because it didn't come from a book. The stories I give you don't come out of a book, baby. They come from the streets. 
they street cred. Understand that. And that's all I wanted to come back and tell y'all. Street sense and book sense is two different things. And if you try to use street sense in them books, it ain't going to work. And if you try to use book sense in them streets, I don't think it work out too well for most of the niggas I've seen using it. Understand that. And I just got to tell y'all before I go that I'm on my way out because I just came in to say hello and to keep myself relevant to you all till I get back over there on Patreon and heat up and really get to giving y'all the real deal of the game, the essence of it, the beginning of it, all the way down to the bare end of it. But see, most of you out there, and I'm gone because I don't want to worry you no more. The game is a legal case. Don't ever forget that. If you're in the game, you're going to have a legal case. And it's one of three things you're going to be. You're going to be a soldier. You're going to stand up, fight that case, win or lose, and take your medicine. You're going to either cop out if it's the best thing for you. Or you're going to either snitch out if that's the kind of nigga you is. Rat ass nigga, snitch nigga. Understand that. So understand this. And my father said it many days, and I'm going to leave y'all on this one. He said, hey, baby, with the kind of time they giving these niggas, they coming in here snitching out quicker than they can get in this motherfucker. When they used to give them five or ten years, niggas would stand up. They started giving them niggas football scores, 30 and 20 years. Them niggas started tapping out, snitching out, trying to get out any motherfucking way they can. But all them niggas, when they was in the streets, would tell you they the coldest, hardest motherfucker that it ever could be. That's what they tell you. They kill a goddamn brick. They do the most stupidest shit that could ever be done. And as soon as the feds put their hands on them, now they crying like a bitch. That's the point I make. If you're going to be a real one, be a real one. When the motherfucking people put their hands on you, which doing all this shit you've been doing, you should kind of figure, damn, one day this might catch up to me and I might need a lawyer and have to fight a hell of fine case. Understand that. That's part of the game. But you all out there thinking copping out and snitching is part of the game. But that ain't how the real ones did it. Like Felix Walls or Eddie Jackson. That ain't how they did it, bro. Check your ruckus on the realest of the real, how they handled their endeavors when they got in trouble and had to go to the federal building. Check out how them brothers handled their trouble. And Eddie Jackson had two 848s. Don't ever forget that. He didn't have one 848. He had two 848s. And I'm going to leave y'all on this one. Eddie Jackson was schooled and semi-product of Frank Matthews' Black Caesar. That was his man, and he was never shy to tell you, Black Caesar put me up on a lot of shit, Eddie, baby. Put me up on them niggas, Mustafa on them in Philly. Told me Doc Gambino was charging me too much money for the product. Understand that. Black Caesar and Eddie Jackson was like this. And Black Caesar saw something in Eddie Jackson and started schooling him. Because he seen something in him he had never seen in no other nigga since he had been in the game. A nigga walk up to the gambling table and challenge you and you, Frank Matthews. This nigga walk up there with all the heart that you could have and challenge Frank Matthews at a dice game. And understand that Eddie Jackson did not run off. He fought the fight 